Hello and welcome back. So we are continuing to learn how to uh, use Visual Studio Code uh, extension, which is uh, provided by Google Cloud to develop APGs API proxies. So, so far we have uh, created all our proxies on our local development. We created a, a proxy, we added verify API key, we added XML to JSON, and then we created some test bundle and tested it on our local environment using our uh, uh, test bundle for developer apps and developer and products. And then we deployed it on the APG runtime environment in our local Docker implementation. Now let's see how we can deploy it uh, to our, uh, uh, to an APG runtime environment, which is running on cloud. So to do that, you have to uh, go to your organization, which you have on APG. And then inside that you will have to create an environment which is capable of deploying a proxy archives. So what does that mean? So once you click on this plus environment, you will see there is an option to create uh, an environment which is capable of de uh, deploying an archive. So if it is only proxies, then you will not be able to deploy a local proxy which you have created locally and send that archive to this uh, um, environment and uh, you have to create an environment on your uh, archive, uh, like this capability should be enabled on that uh, environment. So if I see, uh, I have few other environments which are not uh, capable to do that. So their deployment type is just proxy. So I cannot uh, push my uh, local proxy, but I have an environment which is default dev archive and I will be able to um, deploy archives from my local environment. So keep in mind, uh, you have to have an environment which is capable of deploying archives uh, to your uh, APG SAS environment. Now to deploy this uh, locally developed uh, API proxy to our environment, we are going to use gcloud command to push this uh, proxy uh, to APG SAS. So what we are going to do we are going to use gcloud label and we are going to use gcloud's uh, uh, command which is uh, in beta available for apg and I'll, I'll show you what is that command so before that what we have to do we have to uh, go to the folder where we uh, have our workspace created so let's go to that i think and it's apg workspace and I have APG VS Code demo one, APG, and clear. So right now, make sure you are in a, your workspace folder where you can see source uh, folder. Um, you have to be in that folder to make that command executable. Uh, so make sure you are there. And now what we are going to do to uh, AP, APG's uh, uh, like using gcloud make a, a call to apg's management uh, api and then from there we are going to deploy our uh, proxy uh, which is developed on local and the command to deploy uh, your proxy to your uh, environment is gcloud beta apg archives deploy hyphen hyphen and then you have to give environment name. And my environment name was dev something, I forgot, let's see. Okay, it's dev, default dev arc. And then I have to uh, put a label. So uh, label is to identify your deployment. So I'm going to make it release. That is today's date. Uh, maybe 2021, 12, ordering, and then hit that. So what it is going to do, it is going to use my organization and then it is going to deploy that uh, to my uh, API, but I got some error. So let's see what is the problem. A deployment definition must be created at source, APG environment, default, dev, arc. Oh, okay. So now um, I have hit an issue. Uh, the problem is that I do not have a deployment uh, uh, environment on my local. So I need to create a similar environment on my local and add default 
uh, deployment JSON file. So if you have been deploying your APIs or uh, proxies into an environment uh, like uh, I did, a dev hyphen local. So you do not have a, a dev local arc because the name of the environment differs in my local and in my uh, SaaS implementation. The environments are different. So I need to create an environment which is uh, with the same name. So I need to create this and let's name this. And similar to what we did last time, I need to add my proxy here. This is hello world local and it should be good now. And let's go ahead and run this command again. Let's see what happens. And this time it's uh, uh, going to make this deployment. So make sure either your name should be same on your local environment. If it is different, then you have to create an environment on your local and then uh, execute that command. So now it is waiting for operation and then uh, we should be able to see this deployed uh, as an archive on our uh, APG SAS implementation. So let's wait for this to complete and then we, we are going to test it. So while we are waiting for this to deploy, let's uh, get some information which we need to make this call. Um, so I need the host URL uh, for my um, policies. So I'm going to copy this and go to this default dev app. So now the deployment is done. Um, so uh, I got this, um, that operation is completed and done. So let's go ahead and make a call to our uh, proxy on this uh, host uh, which is uh, deployed and then hello world local and make a request and then it is giving us an error that api key doesn't exist and this is the same error which we got first time when we deployed on local because we do not have a developer app or product or uh, anything created look uh, on our uh, sas implementation or sas runtime of apg so if we go ahead and create developers and different uh, 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 apps and products uh, on our uh, console, we should be able to make a, get an API key and make this call to this uh, uh, API proxy deployed on that. So this is how you will be able to deploy your local developed uh, proxies on your APG's uh, SaaS implementation as well. So with this, uh, we complete this uh, series and uh, we saw how to create uh, policies locally uh, do some development, add policies uh, to our proxies, and then how to deploy it on local emulator uh, runtime environment, and then create some test uh, uh, environment. And then also we created an environment for our uh, APG SAS implementation, SAS uh, runtime environment, and deploy it using gcloud command. And we post it, uh, that archive to the uh, environment which is available on um, APG's uh, cloud implementation. So thank you all for watching and I'll be creating a few more videos and uh, any, uh, if you like the video series, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.